Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and today we are going to do a little twist on the standard beach tumbler. I'm going to have everything that I use listed and linked in the description box below and I can't wait to show you how to create this gorgeous beach tumbler. We're going to go ahead and start with Grace Fine and Rainbow Bright from Chase Ray. And we have a prepped 40 ounce mug from Craft Haven. And I did sand the tumbler, spray paint it white. That is what I use in the terms of prepped. And I just mixed a little bit of each of those glitters into that epoxy and spread it evenly all across the tumbler. Laid, we're gonna go ahead and hit our tumbler with the torch to pop any of those air bubbles. Now the vinyl I'm using today is Ass in the Sand from Vamp Custom Creations and this is semi-transparent. So as you'll see here in a bit when I go to lay it, the shells are opaque so they have white ink behind them. You can put them on any colored base and then the quote-unquote sand portion is clear or semi-transparent so you will see that glitter behind it that is why I went ahead and did the cheek glitter method on my tumbler before I laid the vinyl down because I wanted to see glitter underneath there you can totally skip that step and just paint the tumbler white and lay the vinyl that way but I'm all about the glitter so I did it this way now as you saw there I just trimmed my vinyl to the section of the tumbler that I wanted and then I went ahead and trimmed off a little bit of that backing and laid that vinyl right over the tumbler. It was super easy. And then I went ahead and trim around the shells instead of a straight line. So we didn't have a straight, you know, just blunt seam of the vinyl. I went ahead and trimmed around the shells to make it look seamless. Now we're gonna go ahead and paint our base for our ombre. You can take really any colors you would like to create your ombre. These Arteza paints are my absolute favorite and I'm just gonna take them and layer them a little bit over top of one another as I paint to get them to blend a bit. And I will say, I haven't been enjoying spray painting as of recent. I don't know if it's the fumes and just the smell that lingers after I bring the tumblers inside even though they're dry. I'm not sure what it is, <laughs> but I really haven't been enjoying it. So I've been doing a lot of acrylic paint lately. And for this one, I would say most people probably would spray paint, but the blues that I'm gonna use have some metallic in them and will cover really well. So having the base isn't gonna make that much of a difference as far as actually seeing the lines from the paint. So I just kept blending until it was to my liking. Of glitters today. So for the fine cuts, I have salt water, Semper Fi, High Tide, Bejeweled, and Fresh Water. And for the semi chunkies, I have Texas Sky, Cozumel, and Daddy. We're going to go ahead and use our epoxy method today. So I am just going to spread that epoxy all over the tumbler. Texas sky had little stars in it and I definitely don't want that on my beach tumbler it is a gorgeous glitter but whoops <laughs> so I went ahead and took Liberty and I'm gonna layer that right over top of the Texas sky 
So with our three semi-chunky glitters, I'm gonna just kind of layer those evenly down the tumbler. Our other five fine glitters we'll use to blend the colors together, but I wanted to add some dimension to the glitter rather than just using all fines. So I went ahead and just evenly, you know, space these semi-chunkies on the tumbler as our base layer of glitter. Now we're gonna go in with our fine glitters, starting with salt water, the darkest on the top. And as you've seen me do in previous videos, I'm just gonna slowly start layering those one over top of the other, not fully over top, I would say just about halfway. And with doing an ombre like this, where you don't wanna tilt your cup all the way down because we don't want any glitter to get into our vinyl, it takes a little more time and I, a little more finesse. I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but I just kind of slowly build the coverage. we don't see that harsh seam where the vinyl lays. Now on this third layer of glitter, I'm gonna go in a little bit thicker. By thicker, I mean heavier to coat. And I apologize my hands in the way for a lot of this, but I'm tilting my tumbler just slightly either direction and sprinkling that glitter so it flows up into the color we laid prior. You don't want to tilt your tumbler too much as you don't want that glitter to get down into the other colors that are lighter as well as that vinyl below. turned out. Now we're gonna go ahead and paint that bottom. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of glitter glue and spread that all evenly across the bottom of the tumbler. I did tape off the bottom of the tumbler as you'll see here in just a second. I totally forgot to record that. But once we get that glitter glue all laid, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some Goddess from Peachy Olive Glitters right on that base of the tumbler. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove that tape to give us our perfectly straight line of glitter. I went ahead and did one coat of our KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy. And now on our second coat, I'm gonna try and cover up our stars a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with just a thin coat of epoxy all over the tumbler. Jeweled and fresh water and I'm just gonna mix a little bit of each of those glitters into some epoxy the bejeweled and fresh water I'm gonna put in the same mixing cup now with the gloved finger I'm gonna go ahead and 
take some of those glitter epoxies and I'm just gonna apply the salt water right over the top there just to kind of cover up the stars as well as I can. Then I'm gonna take the bejeweled and fresh water and just kind of go right over that area where the vinyl seam is underneath and apply just over that to soften that seam a little bit more. And we're gonna go ahead and take our torch and pop any of those air bubbles. At this point in the tumbler process, I was <laughs> so excited. It was turning out exactly how I had envisioned. And a lot of tumblers don't work that way. Any of you that have the same kind of crafting mind as I do, you always shift and change directions. And this tumbler went straight through. I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna take my white epoxy pigment as well as a blue or a dark blue um, alcohol ink pen. And I'm gonna take that ink pen and just go over any of those star areas that may still be present on the top of the tumbler. And once we get that done, we're gonna put a very, very thin coat of epoxy on our tumbler. Now I'm gonna take that white epoxy dye and put some into a tiny bit of epoxy. And we're gonna start taking our popsicle stick and just brushing it right over where we want the quote unquote sea foam and clouds to be. There's no rhyme or reason to this. You can add however much or however little you would like. Once we get it all laid down, I'm just gonna take a gloved finger and kind of brush it back and forth to give it a more fluid motion rather than just like those stagnant lines that are there right now. And you can just keep going over this and repeating this step until you get your desired effect. before we go in with our decal. Now I got this decal, I believe it was from BND Designs. I will find it and link it in the description box below. But I'm gonna do a triple layer offset and I used a white, a holographic, greenish, blue shift and a sparkly tan vinyl. I trimmed off just a little bit of that backing so that I can figure out where I want my decal to go on my tumbler. Then I press down that section that I had peeled off and just peel that backing completely off and use my little squeegee tool here to press down that vinyl. And it turned out so gorgeous. I went ahead and went in with two final coats of epoxy. I will say that due to the thickness of these vinyls, I am gonna go in with one more final coat, just cause I could still kind of feel the ridges from that vinyl. So this is how it turned out. I absolutely adore this tumbler. That seashell vinyl on the bottom is stunning and the glitter underneath popping through with the seashells that have no glitter just oh it turned out so good i hope you guys love this tumbler i hope you were able to gain some inspiration and take something and make it all your own thank you so much for coming back again today 
and I will have all of my socials linked down below as well as my website where you can purchase tumblers and I will see you guys again next week. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you.